Hello everyone, this is Ghost Gen 3. Just thought I'd looking at some of my toys here and I thought I'd share this because I've seen too many on YouTube. So today we're gonna be talking about uh, grappling hooks. Now this one right here, I could get you a close-up here. It's what they call the ninja hook. I've seen it in a million magazines. Uh, some kind of regular steel, not major steel. Um, it's about maybe um <clears throat> when I say about eight, nine inches long about seven inches wide. I put these rubber bands right here so that way when I carry them in my backpack or something it doesn't open up on its own. I mean it pretty much, see this spring right here in this bolt? I mean it screws in and they'll hold but I'm going to show you how this thing comes apart and give you a little info on it. I think they go for about 24 bucks. I've had it for a long time so and they always come in black. It's a nice hook. You can put a 550 quarter, a little thicker. I mean my finger will fit in here. So that's about one inch thick right there. Anyways, let me remove this so I could show you. Oh, there goes that rubber band. Anyways, the way you open this up is you can tell here, there's that space. It's a screw basic and here's a spring. So all you do basically is start turning it. And as you can tell, this starts to, let me switch hands here. It starts to tighten up and there's less space. And as you're done turning it, there you go, nice and tight, and there's your grappling hook. You know, four prongs. It weighs maybe about two, three pounds or something like that. It's pretty sturdy, and I'll give you a little story on this one. I carry this hiking with me all the time before uh, I'll show you these next uh, really cool uh, grappling hooks. And one time, deep in the mountains, kind of fell in a little, uh, little ravine, nothing major, but it was three feet higher than, um, and I was by myself, three feet higher than, uh, than me and I'm about 5'9". So the dirt was it was at an angle maybe 45 or something like that and I couldn't get out of there. I'm sure I eventually would have or something but it was difficult. So I had this baby on there figuring had a little rope maybe about uh, 60 feet in length and I tied it, threw it on, just threw it over figuring it'll hook something up. All I need is a little three foot, you know, three and a half foot uh, extra stepping so I can uh, or climb so I can get out of there and uh, this worked I didn't know what it hooked onto I kept pulling it I pulled myself uh, had a small medium pack and it got me out of there actually and what it actually hooked onto were some uh, uh, a dead tree that happened to be there so I was just throwing it through it about three four times before it hooked onto something because I couldn't see what was there and I gave me that three feet and I got the hell out so this thing earned its money so I mean I used it for that I mean I kind of figured out in the mountains when you're by yourself, you know, you could have your weapons and toys and survival gear because you're by yourself. So this actually came in handy. If there's trees or something, hey, maybe it'll hook onto anything you can think of or different use, but it, it saved my ass. Um, another buddy of mine used it. He ended up buying one and basically he used it. Uh, his friend had dropped, she had dropped her pack, his girlfriend. and. Um, it was like a little canyon, so they just got this out and dropped it down there, hooked the pack up without having to climb down and pulled their pack up. How she dropped her pack? Oh, it beats me. I don't know what they were doing. But anyways, and here's how all you do is to put it back. So you don't want to carry your pack like this. Obviously it takes up space and everything, so it's a great idea. You just turn it again. The spring right here, you could take this nut off too. And the spring, watch it because the spring will fly out. And this is just so you can do what I'm doing right here. And as you're turning it now it becomes flat so you could actually turn it enough where you know the spring is getting tighter this is going to be loose like this so don't like that it's not a big major issue but like I said see this thread right here so you want to kind of keep it together like I'm going to show you right here where the base right where it gets flat and this is together here so all you do like I said put a rubber band right here or anything like that it keeps it from just opening up. It's not really that easy to open up, but you know when you throw in your pack, it's a good idea. It's something inexpensive to do, and uh, you know I'll just put it on lousy right now, but that works. So, and this goes in flat right in your pack or wherever you decide to have it, your emergency go bag in your car, or whatever. So, anyways, this is uh, the one ninja grappling hook as they call it, but it's not bad. I mean it. Some of those grappling hooks that cost 100 or 400 bucks, so you can't beat 24 bucks and it earned its money in my book. Now, here's another one. These are from a county com a website. 
county or com county uh, let's see county com I'm sorry uh, dot com and I'll try to put in the in the video if I can uh, I'm having problems with my editor anyways here's the tall one this one's about uh, six inches six and a half inches long and here's a small one and it comes silver this one's more chromed out and this thing is about two inches long these things are really cool I found them years ago this big one here goes for about 29 bucks this one for uh, 21 dollars and this one's about 15.6 grams and this one is uh, what is this one I just wrote it down well, it's less than a pound, put it that way. It's, it's pretty light. So anyways, here's how it goes. It does rattle. You can hear that. And this is a smaller rattle, just because it's smaller. Now you see the little hold. You can put some 550 cord or smaller on this one or fishing line. What they said is they made these for, I've had them for years, is um, for soldiers to use them on trip wires to snag them or anything similar like that. They're non-magnetic and... Um, they're sharp, they have an O-ring here. You can actually take the um, hooks off, or the arms I'm going to say, and store stuff in here and keep them separate in a little bag. But here's how they both uh, come out. If you just twist this, this cap here, and there you go. Here are the little three spikes is what they are, not hooks. Here's an O-ring. And like I said, here's your, uh, you can put your cord or whatever, fishing line, whatever you want. This is just a little, uh, little, device I found you can put a little emergency information here so I just squeezed it in there if you want it quiet you could always shove something down there you know paper something and it won't if I put my finger here and it feels tight it wouldn't even make noise so then here's what happens what comes out three spikes really pretty sharp spikes I mean you could actually use these as weapons and the edge <coughs> the bottom side have o-rings and their screw so you turn this device here close it up by the way, you could fill this with sand, water, dirt, and what that does is if you need more weight, fill it in, close this up. So if you have to throw it, basically, and of course you'd have these separate, uh, and then add them on, and now you can throw, you have this as more weighted, so you can throw it further and it has more weight. So it's water resistant also. Here's how you screw them on. Pretty simple. There's one. You could even use it like that. And you could even use it as a weapon or something. I mean, you, the uses are whatever your imagination is. There's two. And these things aren't sharp, but they're pretty pointy. They do some damage. And that's all you do. Add your string here, and this is your little small grappling hook. It's pretty cool. It's actually pretty good steel. And um, like I said, it's non-magnetic. So right now it weighs really light. And... They say you're not supposed to use it like I ended up using this one, but hey, you got to use what you got to use when you when you need help. And I think this thing would help. I mean, if you put some extremely strong fishing line like the guys, I don't fish, but the guys you get those giant marlins or whatever, or some 550 or some kind of cord like that. I'm sure if this could hook on, it can get you, depending on your weight. It's not recommended for that, but hey, you never know. So you can think of how many uses you can use this for. It's not bad. It's pretty cool. So here's this one. This is the larger one. And here's a small one. Same thing. Turn it. O-ring. Same exact thing. And here are the little spikes with O-rings. Three little pointy spikes. Just the little brother of the big one. So like I said, you can fill this one up too with sand, uh, water, whatever dirt just to give it weight and uh, here you go so you attach these same way as uh, the larger brother and I carry one of these in my go-to bags or in my hiking bags because you never know when you could use it for it. whatever you can think of it's easy to carry and there you go very small here's my hand these things are pretty pointy I mean it does hurt when you <laughs> stab yourself here but I thought I'd share these in case any uh, gadget guys out there kinda like these and you're not aware of them and this small ones pretty handy too I mean, you can throw it out grab things or whatever it is um, I'm sure you can think of many uses I haven't thought of and um, this was called a Pico grappling hook same website they have it uh, this one ninja one is just you can find it anywhere on eBay or probably much any stores and stuff and it's easy to carry and um, you know sometimes you can use these as entries 
you're doing an entry or maybe you want to pull down some blinds, you put one of these, hook it on there or throw it. Oh, it'll pull down some blinds or anything like that. So I'm just kind of giving you ideas, uh, some things I've done in the past. And uh, But these things are really interesting, really cool. Made really well, though. These things aren't rusting, that's for sure. And to take it, you just repeat the process to take it down, to assemble it. You just turn these little spikes counterclockwise. And shove them back in. This is really cool. I, I like this. And there you go. Now it's all safe and everything and water resistant. And here's the big brother, as you guys saw. And same exact thing. One's bigger, one's smaller. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I thought I'd just share these grappling hooks with you guys and uh, tell my story here. Maybe you guys can think of different things with them. So come in pretty handy when you think about it. It's not bad to have. Anyways, God bless. Take care, everyone. Be safe.